Adam, thank you very much. Right now, investigators are gathering more information about the Tennessee teacher accused of kidnapping his 15-year-old student. Tad Cummins is now in Siskiyou County Jail. NBC 5's Nikki Torres toured the cabin where the pair were found. Tonight, she has more on this developing story. While well, Elizabeth Thomas and Tad Cummins were traveling, they came across this one property here in Cecilville. That's where they found one man that was willing to help them out. So they were staying down in there. Griffin Berry is the caretaker for this property not, in Cecilville. He says he's the person who encountered Tad Cummins and Elizabeth and called the police. He says he met the two around Tuesday evening. He said they were from Colorado and he said he had a house fire and um, like lost everything. He describes Cummins' behavior as controlling and suspicious. He talked for a lot. He also says Thomas didn't seem right either. She was kind of shy, timid or something. He said she was 24 and he said he was 38. That's why he decided to do some research. And then we figured it out. Someone showed me a picture because, you know, I was telling him, I was like, that's the guy. He initially thought he was doing a good deed. Then he learned who they really were. We called the 911 last night. Either way, he's glad he was the one who found them. I was just trying to help him out and it ended up turning out different, but it worked and whatnot. In Cecilville, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News. Nikki, thanks very much. Police say Elizabeth Thomas is dealing with a range of emotions. She's expected to be flown back to Tennessee to her family tonight. Again, this is a developing story with new information coming in all the time. NBC5 News is the place to turn to for that information. You can find updates on our website, kobi5.com, and our KOBI-TV NBC5 Facebook page.